Yeah, boys. Welcome to Ducky After Dark. I got a special one for you today. Uh, so, real quick first, you can see we got Sally here. She's all buttoned up. We already uh, bled off the cooling system. Valves have been adjusted. Fluid damper is installed. Absolutely mint. So, today... We got this fresh unit right here. So we have the new motion. We have the Motion Raceworks uh, catch can. Uh, look how fat my finger looks, man. I can't get over that. Uh, we used to have a Mishimoto in this thing, um, and come to find out, it 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 didn't have a baffle in it, so it really wasn't uh, it, it wasn't doing the proper job. If anything, it was just loading up with oil and just. Yeah, it was, it was blowing and it really wasn't catching anything. It would catch like that much in the can and then just start blowing oil all over hell. Uh, this one has a breather on it and it's already got a baffle inside of it. So that's a step forward. Uh, Motion Raceworks, uh, a lot of the LS swap guys, well LS guys in general. Uh, this is a big name for you guys. So, uh, you know, this is a boosted situation, you know, being a Cummins. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to... We're gonna throw this guy on here, and we're gonna we're gonna see how it does. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, assemble this thing, and uh, we'll get it on the truck. One thing that I would like to point out is they do give you the option for either the uh, drain, or you can just put a plug in it. Uh, we're gonna take the ladder. Look at that fat finger. Uh, anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take the ladder. We're gonna put the drain on there just for you know ease of use. So. Let me set this up and then we'll uh, slam dog it. Alright guys, we are, uh, we're all installed, we got the lines ran, I just went ahead and I dumped it into the atmosphere right there. Um, you know, I see posts all the time on Instagram and Facebook about, you know, you got your, you got to get yourself a hundred percenter. Right there, that's, that's been my light, in more ways than one. So between burping and my fat finger, I'm getting kind of gross with you guys. Uh, anyway, so like I said, we got we got the Motion Raceworks can. It's it's all routed. Yes, uh, as you guys saw, I ended up putting just regular uh, barb fittings in there. Uh, we are going to upgrade this to AN to uh, go ahead and uh, match the right there AN fittings. Uh, this is actually a fleece line right here. Uh, we have the drain line down below as well. Um, yes, this paint job is supposed to look like this. My wife likes Jack Skellington. I tried to get it to run and make it look like stitches. Y'all wouldn't understand. Hence, Sally the six-speed. Sally. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's on there. This thing is... I gotta say, man, it is... It's a solid unit if we can get it to focus. We, uh, which actually one thing that I noticed about these second gens is these uh, second gens got a lot of room in the cowl, so I think we're gonna end up Greg Aing it and uh, tucking all the wiring into there. But uh, that's uh, that's that's pretty much that. I mean, the the footage you guys see here, it, it it's not really a hard unit to put together. Uh, it is a solid piece indeed, but we're gonna we're gonna see how it does. Again, you know, it's you think Motion Race works usually the LS guys, the Turbo LS guys. Um, 
but with this being a boosted application, it should work better than the uh, Mishimoto. Again, nothing against Mishimoto, but on this application, it didn't work. But that's what we got for you guys. Um, the next time we work on this truck, which should be tomorrow, hopefully, as long as the weather holds up nice, um, we're going to go ahead and get that uh, fourth gen bumper on there. And uh, another thing that we did was we got uh, we got Luke some uh, camera equipment, which is uh, he's horseshoe diesel. I'll put it down there. Um, wow, it's really hard to see even with my light. This is Izzy. This is his truck. And uh, you guys might have seen her in some of my intros. I'll go ahead and I'll drop a clip right here. That's his truck. We got him some camera equipment today. You know, maybe, maybe I can talk him into quit being a little bitch and getting in front of the camera. But now that, now that Sally's taken care of, we can jump back into the Betty content. We can, we're going to be bringing up her body parts, getting her put back together. So I promise you, we have some first gen content coming. I, I know I promised it a while ago and the videos have been nothing well, pretty much everything but first-gen content. So we're going to go ahead and get this sweet queen put back together. And uh, that's that's what I got for you guys. It is uh, our first technical episode of Ducky After Dark. Hope you guys liked it. Really, this isn't a thing. I'm just being a smartass. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoy your, uh, your Veterans Day. Remember to thank a veteran. Uh, today's just not about barbecuing and getting together. So, and to those of you who are getting together, I appreciate you. I really do. But anyway, take care guys. Stay safe. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.